2 Corinthians 2 and 11, it says, Lest Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. I repeat, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11 says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Shalom, brothers and sisters in this truth. I'm your brother Moat I'm coming to you again with a very brief lesson. Lord willing, this will be edifying to those of you who are tuning in. And before I get started, let's give all glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakadash, double honor to the teachers, elders, and apostles of Great Millstones, and also to the brothers out there that are putting on this truth faithfully, fearlessly, daily, and to you brothers and sisters that are tuning in. Shalom. And the title of this lesson is really short. It's uh, it's actually the inspiration comes from the Holy Spirit and also from this video that I'm going to bring to you. And the title of this lesson is, These Cro-Magnums are losing their ability to lie. I repeat, these Cro-Magnums are losing their ability to lie. Now, when you see this video, you're going to see the fact that uh, <laughs> Esau is significantly full of crap. And the fact is that we are able to see through the devices of this man. Let's go into the book of Romans 10 and uh, verse 3. And it says, for they being ignorant of Yahweh Shai, our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's our power, righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of our power. And this is talking about you two thirds Israelites out there, okay, that can't see the madness and weakness of this man. Now, I'm going to play this video and I'm going to close out with another scripture, okay? Now, check this out. Check this out. You've got to see this stupidness, the stupidity of these crow magnums. San Mateo County workers are scrambling to clean up a mess uncovered by the ABC 7 News I team. Several million dollars worth of precious PPE purchased with your tax dollars left outside in the rain. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. Our Dan Noyes begins our I team coverage tonight with a story you'll see only on 7. He is in the newsroom. Dan, what a picture that is. Well, Dan and Amma, we all know how important masks and hospital gowns and other protective gear are as the pandemic surges. This seems hard to believe, though. The top county officials didn't know that thousands of boxes of PPE were moved outside and forgotten for months until I told them. I got a tip on a recent rainy day and went straight to the San Mateo County Event Center, Gate 9, and couldn't quite believe what I found. Thousands upon thousands of boxes containing all sorts of brand new personal protective equipment soaking in the rain. Stacks of boxes collapsing. Oh, what a mess. Too many to count. Some breaking open and spilling their contents. Hospital gowns in all different sizes. Here, size M. There's large. And of course, here's double XL. I also found pallets of face shields, vented goggles and various types of coveralls. Boxes upon boxes of PPE just rotting in the rain. How did this happen? Our road to some answers and accountability started with a security guard. Remember, the county owns this property. Help you. I'm fine. I work at Channel 7. I'm Dan Noyes. Okay. I'm just taking some pictures. Did somebody invite you to come on the property? I don't need an invitation. Pardon me? I'm a taxpayer. I don't need an invitation. Well, if you don't have an event, then you are not supposed to be on the property. That's it. I understand. I'll be done in a few minutes. Okay. I'll let my boss know. That's fine. His boss, Dana Store, CEO of the nonprofit that runs the event center for the county. Why is all this stuff going to waste here? So, can you stop filming? No. I, I work at Channel 7. I, I need to ask questions. I understand, uh, but. Um, it's not going to waste. It's damaged. It was damaged. It was damaged or it's being damaged now? No, it was damaged in a previous storm. Store would not provide more details. I later learned the event center moved all that PPE outside in September because it needed the space. And those big storms last October first damaged the PPE. It's not my property. I can't discuss it with you. But as the CEO of the event center, isn't it your job to... So as you can see there, what, what you see there, okay? So they left millions and millions of dollars worth of so-called PPEs, you know, stuff that was supposed to be uh, given to the people, to the healthcare workers, to the people who are the emergency workers and the people who are part of this, um, you know, response team to this this scandemic. And what what do they do out there, San Mario? Now, if you understand what San Mario is, San Mario is where Facebook, 
Google and a lot of these other high tech companies, you know, supposedly have some brilliant people, the most brilliant people in this country are located in that particular area out there in the West Coast in California. OK, but yet still they have millions of dollars of worth of equipment, boxes and boxes of them just strewn out there like it was nothing. Why? Because it is nothing. Right. It is a scandemic. OK, it is nothing. If it was really important to get that stuff to the people, it would have gotten to the people. Remember, Esau is a man of lies and tricks. OK, these crow, these crow magnums, Esau. OK, these cave beasts are nothing but liars. OK, and tricksters. OK, and that's the reason why. OK, the man of the Lord. OK, Second Corinthians 2 11, that Satan, who is Esau, a liar, should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. We are absolutely not ignorant. See, every day, every day, thanks to television, you know, and all of these, uh, these coverage, okay, we get to see what kind of lies and, 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 and bullshit is these people are, okay? Let's close out with, uh, this is um, the book of Jeremiah 51 and 60 says, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, which is wickedness, which includes in the lies, the deception. Okay. Not to mention the murder and the rape and the pillaging of the tribe of Israel. Okay. That started when they first came over here for the tribe of God, continuing to this day. Okay. With all 12 tribes here. Okay. Continuing for this is the time of the Lord's Yahweh Bashim Shai vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Okay. You Israelites out there that are that are trying to make this place your your you know your refuge where you are go where you have your plan with your 401k, you know, whatever whatever uh type of uh stock you've got or whatever job you've got that is paying like that, are not seeing the writing on the wall, you're not seeing the deception that's going on. And this is one of them right here. This is not important. If this was important stuff and was supposed to be out there to the people, it would have gotten out there. But see, it's sitting out there because why? This is all about money. So see, Esau is exposing Esau, okay, through the media, but this is actually how about Shimei Ashai working, okay, working and, and opening the eyes of his people, okay? And all you have to do is just keep your eyes open, okay, and not be a part of this thing. There's a recompense and there's a vengeance that's coming to Great Babylon. It doesn't matter what they try to do. Okay, it doesn't matter how they try to fight this all. There's a recompense coming. So I just wanted to just bring this out because you can see here it says major PPE mistake. Okay, look at that. That was meant to be for the people out there who are supposed to be helping people who got the uh invest, you know, the, the thing, the thing thing. All right. But it's just sitting out there. Why? Because there's no such thing as a damn thing thing. <laughs> okay. So that I'd like to close out. Uh I'd like to close up by giving all glory and honor to Yahweh by Shimei Ashai by Shem Rakakadash. Double honor to teachers, elders, and apostles from Great Millstone to you, brothers out there that are putting out this truth faithfully, fearlessly, daily, and to you, brothers and sisters that are tuning in. Shalom. Okay? Look here. At the end of the day, Esau will go against Esau and they're going to cancel each other out. All right? So this is a great thing. Shalom.